In the world of S-based block storage, if you want to write complicated functions or calc scripts, you're going to have to use a cross-dimensional operator. The cross-dimensional operator looks like an arrow, but it's actually just a little dash and a greater than symbol. And its goal is to point you from one member in the database to another member in the database. So let's say we wanted to increase our budgeted sales by 10%. We just say fix on budget, and this limits out all of the other slices of scenarios in the database. So it's not going to look at actual or whatever forecast. So we say fix on budget, and the next line says sales equals sales times 1.1. Now this is going to take sales from budget, increase it by 10%, and then put the result in sales budget. So theoretically, every time I run this calc script, it will just up my budget 10% every single time. Now what I probably want to do is actually just do this one time based on actual sales, I'm going to make budgeted sales 10% greater. Now to do this, I'm going to need a cross-dimensional operator. So instead of just saying sales equals sales times 1.1, I'm going to say sales equals sales cross dim, that's a little dash greater than, sales equals sales cross dim actual times 1.1. So even though I'm calculating the budget slice and it's going through all of the iterations of various markets and time periods for budgeted sales, it's getting the value from actual sales. Now you can go a little cross dim crazy. For example, what if I wanted to set budgeted sales equal to 10% greater than actuals and budgeted cost of goods sold equal to 10% greater than actual cost of goods sold. I could write it like this, which uses two cross-dimensional operators, but if I pause for a second, I notice I'm repeating a lot of things. On each line, I'm repeating the member, so sales and sales, and also kind of looking downward, I'm repeating actual a couple of times. So if I can pivot this calculation, I can instead say, well, let's just fix on sales and cost of goods sold, and let's let budget equals actual times 1.1. Not only is that second one a little easier to read, it's easier to maintain if I want to add a new account, and it actually runs faster than the one up above. 99% of the time, even though they work, you really want to avoid using a cross-dimensional operator on the left-hand side of an equals. If I wanted to take cost of goods sold actual, up it by 10%, and put the results in sales budget, I could write it like this. Sales crossed in budget equals cost of goods sold crossed in actual times 1.1. But the way this actually runs is it doesn't just pull budget into memory. It actually pulls in sales for all of my scenarios. It just keeps putting the result in sales budget because the left-handed cross dim doesn't limit which blocks are pulled into memory. The better way to write this would be to fix on budget and then say sales equals cost of goods sold actual times 1.1. This only pulls budgeted sales into memory and doesn't pull in like sales forecast or sales what if.